Hi, I'm Jennifer Longdon here at Ability360, and we're going to be talking about some of the new laws that were recently enacted by the state legislature that might impact you. And with me is Sarah Cater, staff attorney with the Arizona Center for Disability Law. Sarah, you were at the state capitol for a lot of this work this session, weren't you? I was, and I think I saw you down there a few times too. Once or twice. <laughs> so let's start with 1239, the parking stripe bill. Why don't you tell us your take on that one? Right, so we think over that all that one is fairly positive. Um, that one basically just says that the spot next to an accessible spot that has the hash marks, you can't park your motor vehicle in that spot. And that's good because we know people need that spot in order to exit their vehicle on their ramp, et cetera. But we just want to make sure people know that no one can park in that spot, even if you have an accessible placard. Let's say that one more time. Even if you have an accessible placard and you can legally park in the spot, Covering the stripes can earn you a ticket. That's right. All right, everyone's got that now. Let's move on to 1406. Now this one we've had some mixed reactions to, so let's talk about that, the ADA notification law. So this was the one that I was down at the Capitol most about, and this was proposed because there had been a lot of lawsuits filed against businesses because of their parking lots. So the disability community worked with the business community to try and come up with a compromise. Unfortunately, that compromise didn't pass, and this is what we have. So we want to inform people about what it does. Previously, under the Arizonans with Disabilities Act, if you went to a business and couldn't get in, you could file a lawsuit that day. What this bill does is says you have to write a letter and explain what happened, what wasn't accessible, and give the business 30 days to fix the problem. 30 days. And how are you supposed to give them that notice? There's no particular form to use, um, and there's a letter and things you need to include, and you can find out more information on what to include on the Arizona Center for Disability Law website. So we're going to include that in the comments, but let's go ahead and say what that is one quick time. It's www.azdisabilitylaw.org. azdisabilitylaw.org. Fantastic. Right. Let's move on. 1108. Bingo. <laughs> Right, bingo. So this is great news for anyone out there that plays bingo. Mm -hmm. This added some new protections for people with disabilities that play bingo. So if you do have a disability and you need assistance, the person running the bingo game has to provide it to you. They also have to give you a card reader if you need one and they can't charge you extra for it. And now how does that play with the one we just talked about on ADA notification? Right, so it would depend on who's running the bingo game, but if it is a private business in a public place, you'd have to give them that 30 days notice to fix the problem. Got it. Okay, so you know, it's, it, they all work in together in some ways, don't they? They do indeed. And I have a question for you yeah. about the pill bill. The pill bill. All right, so this one is really interesting. It's an emergency prescription refill bill. And you know, it, it's the case where we've done some good law. And what happens is that uh, it's very specific, but say it's the long holiday weekend and you realize that you've run out of your important medicine, inhaler, high blood pressure medicine, and your prescription has expired. So you don't need to go to urgent care or get your doctor on the phone to get a refill. You can call the pharmacy and the pharmacist has some discretion. There is structure around it. It cannot be a controlled substance. You must have already filled this prescription at this pharmacy previously, and it'll be an emergency refill portion. Got it. So that is a nice little bill to uh, hopefully help folks along on those long holiday weekends. Excellent. So Sarah, overall, how would you rate this past year for people with disabilities at the state legislature? I think in some ways it was a good year with certain bills, in other ways it was definitely a struggle, and I think it just shows the importance of getting involved and making your voice heard. Absolutely, and people can learn more about how to do that at the Ability360 website and certainly at the Arizona Center for Disability Law website. Definitely. We definitely, both organizations work hard to keep people informed. Thanks for your work, Sarah. Thank you. So that's it for us today. I'm Jennifer Longdon with Livability Media and Ability360. And again, thanks to Sarah Cater, staff attorney at Arizona Center for Disability Law. We'll see you next time.